Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahabashai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here is going to be another quick hit, straight to the point. And, um, you know, this is a, a verse of the day. Like I said before, this is a Bible app that gives me a verse of the day. And most of the time it's on point. You know, all the scriptures are always on point because it deals with our everyday situation. You know, it deals with our daily lives. And being that the Lord has awoken his hopeful elect, you know, truth is being us uh, uh, being, you know, pulled down over the over the whole world. You know, it's being poured out, poured out. It's being poured out over the whole world because we're at an age and a time where there's a transformation of power, where we was living in the dark through Esau since he's been ruling with lies. And now the Lord is transitioning uh, truth to be poured out and to rule the earth in. All right, and that's starting with Yahweh Shai and uh, King David, the apostles, the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, Yasha Allah. So what we have here is Nahum 1 and 7. It says, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. All right, so that's, you know, that's, that's hit, that, that hits, that hits hard, straight to the point. Okay, Nahum 1 and 7, the Lord is good. All right, only the heavenly father in Yahweh Shai is good, because we as creatures, men, okay, you know, a few sisters out there who watch, we're of the flesh, and we're of what? Sinful flesh. So, even as we do these shows and these epistles and hope to edify, you know, our righteousness is as what? Filthy rags. It's not good enough. You know, that's why the Lord, Yahweh Shai, speaks on, uh, you know, to endure, all, endure all the way to the end. Because this thing is about enduring. You know, this is not, you know, like a, what you call an R&B singer, rap artist, where you get those one-hit wonders, those one-hit songs, and then they come in and they rock the world, everybody singing their songs, and then give about a year, two years later, you don't even acknowledge them no more. You don't even remember who they are until that song come up. Well, nah, this song that we're singing is Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai's song. And it's for us, okay, of the whole four elect to endure all the way to the end. So it says, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. All right, so who do we call on and who do we look forward to when we are in trouble? Who do we call on? Who do we look forward to, you know, when we're happy, all right? When we're sad, you know? No matter what emotion it is that we're going through, who do we look to? We look to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And the scripture says, a stronghold in the day of trouble. Because when you're in trouble, you need help. You need a support. You're looking for mercy. Who's going to give that? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? A stronghold in the day of trouble. Now, I just want to, you know, say my little two cent uh, with the videos that was going out, starting with Elder Apostle Tahar. He did a show yesterday on um, on silver, and he said, uh, I "Told y'all, you know, to invest in silver a long time ago because silver and the stock just went up. You know, the value of it went up." And uh, I was watching Elder Apostle Rumlau's video, and he made mention about. Amawan Gabar, the elder brother, New York camp, he did a show too. Now, I missed this show. I didn't see it, but I'm going to go watch it after this. But uh, the elder said, uh, Apostle Rumbloff, he said, um, you know, even Amawan Gabar made mention how he was questioned, I guess from, you know, I guess a, com a comment or maybe, or whoever, you know, was why would we invest in some silver or gold when the economy going to crash, you know? And that's a pretty good question if, if you sincere. But, you know, the Lord teaches us wisdom. You know, the answer that, and like I said, this is just my little two cent to throw in there, is that the Lord teaches us wisdom. He gives us wisdom. We ask for uh, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. And wisdom has to be applied, okay? You know, you can speak wisdom. You can speak uh, different philosophies. You know, you got false philosophies and you got philosophies that are, you know, uh, you know, on point, righteous philosophies, right? But these 
this wisdom has to be applied. So the Lord gives us wisdom, meaning we have to use it. So it would be a good thing to invest in silver and gold because it's better to have some than the better than to have none. All right. Because you never know what situation you're going to be. You know, you see as right now, you can see that um, Esau, well, let's say Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is allowing Esau to bring in his agenda, bring in his new world order, all right, by steps. You got the first wave, you got the second wave, and it's going to be a third wave or whatever, all right? They're using gradualism to bring in their new world order. They're using this mass, okay, to keep it afloat for the invisible disease, you know, that everybody's testing positive for. Which nobody's dying for though You know So with that being said You never know what situation you're going to be in Alright You know the second wave is coming up And you could be in a situation where The economy and, and everything could be crashed But then you might have little markets You know You might have little markets Where you can't go buy in a store Right And you might got little markets with certain preppers You know they be winning At this moment because they prep for this time and they have their little markets. And it's just food for thought, you know. And um, they could have their markets and you might need some things. If you had some silver and he is accepting the silver, you could get maybe abundance of things and just instead of just bargaining with what you have. So it all it can it can help, you know. It's not gonna save us. Only Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is gonna save you, but all right, it's um it's good to have than to not have. So Nahum 1 and 7, the Lord is good, a stronghold in a day of trouble. All right, so we call upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and he knoweth them that trust in him. So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai knows all his elect and who trust in him. He knows each and every brother that's out here, all right, uh, confessing who, the, who he is, standing stiffly for his name, that amongst the camps that are informants, he know who they are. He know who the real brothers are who truly believe, all right? He know who, um, he know it all, man, okay? It says, he knoweth them that trust in him, all right? So if you trust in Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, as Paul said, um, uh, how I go? So like, let me bear with me one second. Okay, uh, I wanted to get a quick precept. This is, uh, this is in the book of Romans. The eighth chapter and around the 33rd verse. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Um, right. I'm over one day. That's me. Right, right. All right. Together for them. And searches the heart. Salakia uh, searches the heart. Not the spirit because he made intercession. Okay. Um, let me read this again And I end the show This is a quick hit Nahum 1 and 7 The Lord is good A stronghold in a day of trouble And he knoweth them that trust in him Alright So the Lord knoweth them that trust in him So You know let me read this This is Romans 8 And uh, 27 It says And he that search of the hearts Knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit Okay Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai He that search of the heart it says, knoweth what is in the mind. So like, okay, battery about to die. It says, and he that search of the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of Yahweh. Okay. It says, and he knoweth that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh, to them who are called according to his purpose. All right. So if you have the elect, it, hey, the scriptures say he know uh, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh. So what the elder apostle Tahar is doing is giving wisdom. All right. For brothers to go out and invest in some silver, you know, have a few coins on the side. You know, you ain't got to, you know, stack up as if it's going to save you. But it's wisdom. All right. To them who are the who are the called according to his purpose. Who's accord, who's called according to Yahweh's purpose? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, his elect. For whom did he foreknew? He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. 
Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And I, I will go into that word predestinate, you know, which means to know beforehand, you know, but I got a little life on the battery. So anyway, moreover, whom did he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified. See that? And him he and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Uh, what shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? All right, so that's just the point. Oh, uh, no, wait, I go to 33. He that spared not his own son, but believed him, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of the most high's elect? It is Yahweh that justifieth. All right. So, you know, just going back to the verse of the day, it says Nahum 1 and 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. So you better believe that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai know who his elect is. And he knoweth them that trust in him. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.